Welcome back, Spartans. Today we'll be diving into fuses and their continuity. Hello, everyone. So today we came across a motor control circuit here, and we're having an issue with it not starting. So today we're going to be doing some troubleshooting to figure out what the issue is using our multimeter. We'll be using a Fluke 115. So let's figure out why the motor is not starting. Alright, so first thing first when it comes to our troubleshooting process here is to make sure we are getting power to all the right places. Alright, so right now we have our system energized. And of course, before doing any type of troubleshooting work, make sure you have your proper PPE and you are authorized to be in search electrical panels. All right, so right now we are actually gonna check our voltage across our contacts and our leads. First, since, we are, since we're doing our troubleshooting, let's check our voltage across our fuses. Fuses are the main things that go out in motor circuits. So if something's not running, my, I recommend checking the fuse first. And right here, this is our fuses, as you can see. And this is our contacts, motor overload. All right. So when it comes to checking our voltage, we want to go from leap, from line to line. All right. From line to line. All right. So when we check it from line to line, we want to make sure that we have our rated voltage. And in this system, this is an industrial warehouse, so. Our, our, rated, well, our rated voltage should be around 480. So let's see what we have. All right, and that's, that's plus or minus 10. So right now we're at about 497. So that means we're good. All right. Check the line a little here. Oh, not that we dropped there. All right, we're good here. All right. So you want to check it from here to here. So when when our ratings does not match up, um, with our voltage does not match up with our rated current or voltage, that means we have a bad fuse. All right. So that's checking across the line voltage. Next, we want to check our load voltage going out, and they too should be at the rated voltage. Mm -hmm. So now that we found out our voltage and our voltage drops, now we want to take out the the fuse and check its continuity. All right, so next we're going to be taking out the fuse here. And don't forget, please use PPE because you still have your line voltage coming in. All right, so we pull out the fuse. And on your multimeter, you want to change the setting to your continuity. And to make so first we will check our leads. And do the continuity test. You will touch your leads. If you hear the beep, that means you're good. You want to hear that same beep when testing the fuses. That means this fuse is good. 